Okay, hi guys. Uh, welcome back. This is actually a repeat of the last tutorial. Uh, I think uh, I am extremely sorry to people, Arshi, and I'm forgetting the name of the second person. Uh, thank you so much. I have uh, they have brought to my notice that I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I think from the third slide where I confused the fifth and the fourth. Theme classification and जो पुराना नाम है ना उसको I have stated it as the new name. So thank you so much अर्शी and uh, the second person I'm so sorry. Just let me check. Uh, it just goes to show that you were sorry. This is also a little you know I really got a little low कि so many people have and Ananya. Thank you so much. Both of you just just goes to show that you were listening to what I was saying. and thank you for bringing it to my notice because otherwise you would learn the wrong thing the rest of those who have maybe noticed it or not said so i am quickly going to uh, go ahead and repeat those slides in this video this is very short and after that i'll post the last part of the video that will be the proper one okay so mota mota in uh, layman term the left hand my left hand in this slide find your uh, right uh, hand or if you're sitting in front of the computer then the left hand is the fifth edition right hand is the fourth edition and this is where i mixed up in the further slide so my starting say i'm repeating again i think this part was clear that tumor like lesions have been added in the fifth this part i don't think i have to go i think the problem started where the alk thing was coming in picture so from there i'm going to take individual i think this table was clear this is fifth this is fourth i think i hope this was also clear where uh, nk uh, and like nk large granular lymphocytic leukemia has been added this thing you know i corrected myself i told you in the end that chronic lymphoproliferative disorder of nk cells was used before now it is called nk large granular i mean if you've gone till the end i corrected myself but i think there were more such uh, leukemias lymphomas where i made this mistake so this is the old name and this is the new name and as far as the mature lesions are concerned three changes have been brought rest all are the same or shall i say four in mature t cell and nk cell t pll t pro lymphocytic leukemia remains the same t large granular lymphocytic leukemia has been added instead of t cell large granular lymphocytic leukemia now if you ask me the difference i'll have to you know go through because the, i don't understand the difference by just you know removing the word cell so they have naam wahi hai t large granular lymphocytic leukemia only the word cell has been removed nk large granular lymphocytic leukemia was initially known as chronic lymphoproliferative disorder of nk cell so they have basically you know pronounced it as a leukemia now rather than putting it into a bigger heading of clpd of nk cells uh, over here i presume this is my take again um, i'm not very sure let the entire who book come out t large granular cell uh, uh, leukemia they are just trying to maybe um, indicate the lineage that this is from t i really don't understand the um, either they found the word cell not necessary or not very specific that is why they dropped it uh, otherwise i don't find any other explanation why the word cell was dropped then primary cutaneous acral cd8 positive lymphoproliferative disorder one disorder was removed that is clpd of nk cell and turned into lymphocytic leukemia one disorder has been added that is primary cutaneous acral cd8 positive lymphoproliferative disorder instead of primary cutaneous acral cd8 positive t cell lymphoma so one uh, disorder became a leukemia that is clpd of nk cell became a leukemia and one disorder i'm sorry one lymphoma over here that became a disorder so there was like a swap essay you can remember and i told you that cutaneous and neoplasms have been peripheral cutaneous t cell nsx even in b cell lineage cutaneous 
origin of that lymphoma has been given special mention specially so that is this okay then again this is new this is old so in the intestinal t and nk cell proliferation and lymphomas indolent t cell lymphoproliferative disorder of gi has been called indolent t cell lympho of the lymphoma again so a, a disorder has been converted into a frank lymphoma so they found molecular and cytogenetic uh, markers which were favoring a lymphoma instead of this broader heading of a lymphoproliferative disorder okay uh, then uh, indolent nk cell lymphoproliferative disorder of gi tract has been included so t cell how to remember this i mean i would if intestinal lesion ka pucha jaye to t cell lesion जो कि पहले लिम्फोप्रोलिफरेटिव डिसऑर्डर कह रहा था जी आई का उसको लिम्फोमा बना दिया गया है एनके सेल को इंट्रोड्यूस कर दिया गया है अंडर द हेडिंग ऑफ लिम्फोप्रोलिफरेटिव डिसऑर्डर ऑफ जी आई ट्रैक ओके देन एल्क हैज बीन एडेड बिफोर नेगेटिव और पॉजिटिव इन एनाप्लास्टिक लाचल लिम्फोमा पहले बाद में था आई डोंट नो बिकॉज आई रेड द आर्टिकल दिस वॉज वॉट अर्शीज टेक वॉज दैट Uh, ma'am uh, uh, it is behind initially i actually misread the message also i thought you were asking about whether it has been removed or not so uh, uh, it has not been removed prognostically they are saying alk negative uh, male uh, they are having a question mark on the prognosis of that dosp 22 pehle acha prognostic factor mana jata tha now they are saying it is not important so you know bringing it in front i don't know Uh, on one hand, we are saying that alk negative prognosis uh, doesn't vary much. On the other hand, if I tell you that bringing in front means they are stressing on the fact that alk is important, so that will be a contradictory statement. So this is open for discussion, and uh, I am waiting for the WHO blue book to come out actually to actually read the entire thing because article has its in parts, and then I can give shed better light on why this shift in position has been done. then again this is new this is old so uh, i think systemic chronic active ebv disease ye ban gaya hai aur chronic active ebv infection tnn ke cell type ka hydroa vacciniform lymphoproliferative disorder is hydroa vacciniform like hata diya gaya hai so i presume like is an mimicker or an imitator so now they want to say it can is this this hydroa vacciniform is an entity in itself not a इंपॉर्टेंस में था और अब बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट हो गया सो इट है सेपरेट क्लासिफिकेशन फॉर लिम्फोमा बोथ बी एंड टी टाइप देन ओके नोडल टी एफ एच को तीन टाइप में कर दिया है राधर दैन तीन डिफरेंट टाइप के हेल्प सेल लिम्फोमास बताने में ये सब में नाम डाल दिया नोडल टी एफ एच मीन दे आर नोडल टी एफ एच एंड वन इज एनजीमोनोब्लास्टिक टाइप अदर इज फॉलिकुलर टाइप एंड तीसरे की टाइपिंग नहीं कर सकते दैट इज एनओ एस नो स्पेक्ट्रो टाइप नो अदर स्पेक्ट्रो दिस वॉज आई कोट मिक्स अप सो दिस आई स्किप सो दिस वॉज अ वेरी वेरी शॉर्ट करेक्शन ऑफ द लास्ट वीडियो i am uploading it right now and the next thing i am doing is uploading the last part of it then we can discuss the article in detail so further problems can be sorted there and of course then we will discuss the icc okay thank you